it was pointed out that for the R branch, delta J is equal to plus 1, and delta EVR is equal to H nu naught plus 2B into J prime plus 1. And for P branch, delta EVR is equal to H nu naught minus 2BJ prime. This assumes that in any two vibrational states, B remains constant. This is not strictly true, as the internuclear distance changes slightly from one vibrational state to another. Since the higher vibrational state has a higher vibrational amplitude, it will have a higher effect on the internuclear distance R. Kotbans continued. In fact, R is greater in the higher vibrational state. For R branch, if we consider the transition J to J plus 1, in open bracket, delta J is equal to plus or minus 1, then delta EVR will be equal to H nu plus, open bracket, capital B1 into J1 plus 1, J plus 1 into J plus 2, minus B naught J into J plus 1. Close the major bracket. Where B1 and B naught correspond to upper and lower vibrational states. Therefore, delta EVR is equal to H nu naught plus 2B1 plus, open bracket, 3B1 minus B naught, close into J plus B1 minus B naught into J squared, etc. Call that equation I. And for P, delta EVR will be equal to H nu naught plus square bracket B1 into J minus 1 into J minus B naught, in, B naught J into J plus 1. That's it. Delta EVR is equal to H nu naught minus open bracket B1 plus B naught close into J plus open bracket B1 minus B naught close J squared. That's equation double I. If I1 is greater than I naught, it follows that B1 is less than B naught. Therefore, coefficients of J squared in one and two are negative. In fact, this term contains J squared is responsible for the non-constant spacing for the rotational lines. If we consider branch P, as J increases, the term B1 minus B0 into J squared grows larger until it dominates the whole expression, and then the band turns to lower frequency side of the band origin, as shown here. Goes from there to there, which is the lower end of the frequency band from the origin. Let us now look at anharmonicity. For a simple harmonic oscillator, as was pointed out, the potential energy of the molecule will change along a symmetric curve. However, real molecules do not behave as simple harmonic oscillators, but as anharmonic, i.e., they prefer to be stretched rather than to be compressed. This explains why, on an actual potential energy curve for a diatomic molecule, the left side is steeper than the right side, as shown here. This side is very, very steep, whereas this one tapers out and finally goes that way. Here, of course, we are showing the variation of potential energy with the distance of separation R for a real molecule. In other words, compression requires more energy than stretching. 
and harmonics that therefore shows by how much the molecule deviates from simple harmonic oscillator. For absorption or emission, Ev is equal to open bracket V plus a half into H nu E minus H nu E X E open bracket V plus a half close squared. Where nu E is the characteristic frequency of the molecule, and please nu E is not equal to H nu naught. X E is the unharmonistic constant. which is a measure of the deviation of the real oscillator from the simple harmonic oscillator. As the value of V increases, the spacing decreases until eventually tends to zero. When the difference is equal to naught, we have a situation where the vibrational energy has overcome the attractive force due to a chemical bond. Therefore, we can